children welcome to our english lesson this lesson focuses on unit 2 of your grade 10 textbook today we are going to practice a reading skill let's learn how to read and transfer information into other forms let's start the lesson in real life sometimes we have to transfer information from one form to another that means we have to transfer spoken or written text into another form into another form means forms such as a chart a table a grid or even a picture right so let's practice transferring information so you are going to do it with an activity now this activity is based on activity 5 on page 16 and 17 of your textbook first you have to read this description it is a part of a presentation script this is a presentation done by a student at an international conference let's read this description and transfer the information to this data sheet now pay attention to this data sheet Now see what information is required to fill in this data sheet. First you have to find the name of the country and then the nationality of the people. Once you find this next you have to find the capital city of this country and then you have to find the official language as well as the currency used in that country. So what you have to do is pause the video go back to the presentation script read it and fill in the information you can start now okay children let's check your answers now okay the first one requires you to find the country what is the country this student is talking about yes it's china and then the next one nationality of the people what is the nationality yes it's chinese okay Now the third one. Third one requires you to find the capital city. What is the capital city? It's Beijing. Okay. Now the fourth one. Fourth one is the official language in China. What is it? The official language is Mandarin Chinese. Now the last one. The currency. What is the currency? Yes, it's renminbi. I hope you got all the answers correct. Children, now we are going to do another activity. In this situation, you are going to read an advertisement and transfer information into an information sheet. Here both texts are in written form, but the text types are different. One is an advertisement and the other one is an information sheet. Now let's look at this advertisement. See It's an advertisement about a particular event. Now you are going to read that and transfer the information into a, an information sheet. Let's do that. Now look at the information sheet. First you need to find the event advertised and then the host. Then what is available? and when this event is held and where so now i want you to pause the video go back to the advertisement read it and fill in the information let's check your answers now now what did you write for the first one it requires you to write the event advertised could you find this information yes the event advertised is a book sale so you have to write a book sale there then the hosts who are the hosts hosts are the pe- people who are organizing this event right so you have to write exact publishers there now remember children when you write exact publishers as it's a proper noun you need to start with capital e and capital p now the third one what is available what is available there yes fiction non fiction and dvds you have to write all three then the date when so when saturday 
20th September and time also is available. So let's write the time also there from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So Saturday 20th September from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Then where? At the Gamunupura Village Centre. At the Gamunupura Village Centre. Again remember this is a name so you have to start with capital letters when you write Gamunupura Village Centre. Children, now think of a situation where you take a message for another person over the telephone. So you need to convey this message correctly. So it's easier if you write down this information. So here you are transferring the information in a spoken text into a written text like this. Now look at this telephone message. Here the first one you have written who has been calling. So here it says a friend of yours, Ravindu. And then you write the message that Ravindu wants him to call back. And then the telephone number. Okay, so here you have transferred information from a spoken text into a written text. Now let's do a similar activity. Let's read the telephone conversation and transfer information into an information sheet. This activity is an adaptation of a question that appeared in 2016 O-level paper. So let's read this telephone conversation. It's a conversation between Aisha and Surani. Let's read the conversation and try to transfer the information into this information sheet. Now first you have to find what the movie is and then where it is screened at. Then after that you have to find when they are going to see that. After that the meeting place and the time. So you have to find all this information after reading that telephone conversation between Aisha and Surani. So you can pause the video, go back, read it and fill in the information. You can start now. Let us have a look at your answers now. Now the first one, the movie. What is the movie? It's the sounds of the sea. Now like what I told you earlier, as this is a name of a movie, don't forget to start with capital letters. The sounds of the sea. Then screened at. Where is it screened? Regal. Again remember the capital R. When they are going to see it. So here in the telephone conversation, they are planning to see it tomorrow. So it's better to write your answer as the day after or even if you write tomorrow it's okay and they give a specific time also in the evening so the perfect answer is the day after comma in the evening then meeting place yes what's that it's Tara's shop again capital T because it's a name of a shop then the time Yes, it's 5.30. Time given as 5.30 in the telephone conversation. Okay, I hope you got all correct. Children, now we have come to the end of today's reading lesson. In this lesson, we practiced an important reading skill. How to transfer information into other forms. Our next lesson will be a writing one. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.